I got this pick from mom. Oh my goodness. This is toddler days. I gotta be, gotta be three. If you could go back and tell three-year-old Trent all that you were gonna accomplish playing college football, what do you think he would be most proud of? It wouldn't be school, even though it should be school. <laughs> Cause he definitely probably didn't want to be in school that long, but I think he would first be extremely excited, you know, get out of a big yell. And he would really just be most proud of the way that, that I've gone about things and the people, the connections that I've made and been able to keep fostering those relationships. What is the biggest way that football has shaped you as a person? Probably most of all would be character in the sense of you can definitely feel like a big fish in a small pond sometimes when you're growing up in those little leagues. And I mean, it just, you see how much work that the other guys, your teammates, your competitors, and everybody puts in. You can't fake it. Like, you got to find it within you somehow. I appreciate all the coaches that I've grown up with from little league, high school, college. I name my dad. I really appreciate him because he's coached me from all the way from when I was little to now. So. He always told me it's about the three A's, alignment, assignment, and attack. And I mean, it really just comes down to him saying, know what you're doing out there. Don't just be out there to be out there. I mean, you want, when you're out there, you just want to play and play freely, but you got to know, you know, there's a purpose out there. You can't just be out there running around with, like a chicken with his head cut off. Shout out Coach Carrington. Who at Northwestern in your two years here had the biggest impact on you? Coach Fitz. What's the biggest lesson you've learned from Coach Fitz that you'll take away from here? The poem that he reads to us in the, the meetings, definitely. Because, I mean, he's right. It's where it all starts. I mean, at the end of the day, if you can look in the mirror and say that you didn't cheat yourself, the man in the mirror, then that's what it's all about. As you wrap up six years of college football and look in the mirror, what are you seeing? Um, a lot of hard work. I mean, and I'm just, I can feel happy about it. This is the way that it was planned. This is God's plan. And I mean, I'm happy. I have no, no regrets. I put my all into it.